Jesus was the great Jehovah of the Old Testament. <coughs> Under the direction of his father, he was the creator of the earth. He went to the New England. His gospel was a message of peace and goodwill. He taught the truth of eternity. He instituted the sacrament as a reminder of his great atoning sacrifice. He solemnly testified that his life was essential to all human history. He neither began in Bethlehem nor completed on Calvary. He was the first born of the Father, the only begotten Son in the flesh, the Redeemer of the world. He rose from the grave to become the first fruits of them that slept. As risen Lord, he visited among those he had loved in life. He also ministered among his other sheep in ancient America. In the modern world, he and his father appeared to the boy Joseph Smith of the living Christ. The prophet Joseph froze. His eyes were as a flame of fire. The hair out of his head was white like the pure snow. His countenance shone above the brightness of the sun, and his voice was as the sound of the rushing of great waters. We bear testimony as the duly ordained apostles that Jesus is the living Christ, the immortal Son of God. He is the great King of Israel who stands today on the right hand of his Father. He is the light, the life, and the hope of the world. His way is the path that leads to happiness in this life and eternal life in the world to come. God, we thank you for the miracle matchless gift of his divine son. And I'd like to add my testimony. I know Jesus is the son of God. I know he lives and I love him.